Hey, what's mm -hmm. poppin', y'all? What's poppin', man? It's the Kid Be Real. Back at y'all with some more good game, man. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what I do, man. For those who just recently subscribed, man, I appreciate y'all showing me some love, man. For those who watching the video right now, I'm talking to y'all, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like button, man. It don't cost y'all nothing to show a real one some love. Um, today, man, today, it took me a while to get this interview, man. It took me a while to get this interview. But a friend of mine connected me with this guy. And he has become to be one of the most dangerous guys that I met. That I've met in Merced by far yet to this day. Um, his occupation, his street occupation, is a robber. Um, how long have you been robbing people, bro? Um, honestly. Truthfully, I can say since I was old enough to be aware of uh, what things would value, uh, honestly, folks don't understand that they is stealing, you know what I mean, until after whatever is stolen is, 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 is still, basically. But honestly, in realness, it's like folks try to make it off like they're not stealing, but they are in every way, shape, or form. Whether it's time, energy, love, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But yeah, I could say honestly, since basically I was born, you know, because it was like that's what was being taught, you know. Honestly, from my point of view, I'm like, if you look back, in a sense, that's what everybody's teaching you nowadays, how to steal something, how to take something from something. You know, whether it's a person's child, a life, you know, you know what I mean? It, it goes deep and it's just like, what are we doing this for? Well, is this what it's all about? You know what I mean? And it became like a gimmick, a game to where it's levels to this shit where Motherfuckers take it as far as to, you know what I mean, championship, you know what I mean, gang murder type shit where motherfuckers live to just, you know what I mean, take, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Just the bigger taker, you know what I mean? It is what it is, and I mean, I wouldn't consider myself to be so much as that to that level, but I see myself growing and, and, and transforming it every day. You know I mean? so, so, is is drugs a part of your story? Oh yes, most definitely because that's the centerpiece. I mean, everybody wants to how you say have a good time. You know what I mean? So that's like basically. How you say a glass of water, you know what I mean? You thirsty, what you need? What's your, what's your flavor? You know what I mean? Honestly, it's like, became so deep where it's been a questionnaire. You know what I mean? First thing motherfucker wanna know is what's your flavor? Like, I think that's kind of personal. You know what I mean? A person don't come off at their own will, you know what I mean? Can I have this? If you have this, I don't want you to, you know what I mean? So, I I hear about you through a lot of different people, and the story that I got, and I and, and I tread lightly, bringing this subject up because you are a street guy, and you do have a reputation of being violent. But what made you start robbing homosexual men for for financial gain? Was it 
the drugs or what led you to specifically targeting homosexual men? Right. Well, to be honest, it was like, it was brought to me. It was like, actually hit me off guard, to be honest. It wasn't like I was out looking for this actual gimmick or gig, you know. It was more like, okay, it was presented to me, and it was just like, ooh, am I upset or mad or do I want to, you know, see how far to go, you know, typically to the point to where I really was blind. I didn't know how far I could go, but I knew the possibilities, you know, and it was just like, I was trying to really figure out who I was, like, who, who I was in the whole situation, like, I was trying to find myself, you know what I mean, basically, how deep was my morals, you know, whether the person was a homo or a lesbo or et cetera, it was just more of like, was I capable of going that far for whatever reason and letting that actually be the reason with not knowing that being the actual reason when I know I'm not true to myself, I don't know who I am. And I thought that was pretty foul for a person to sit out there and judge someone and not even be with acceptance or okay with themselves, with knowing who they were. So how could you not like somebody because if they're black or et cetera, you know what I mean? And you don't even know your, you black. You don't know your blackness or you don't know, you know what I mean? Who you are, so it was just like, when I found out that I was doing that, it was just like, it turned into it not being that per se. It was more like, yeah, you're targeting them because of them being who they are and you feel that you can use your gimmicks or whatever, you being attractive or you being nice or you giving a ride or etc cetera, etc cetera, to exploit these people to an advantage to where I was gaining not knowing that that's definitely not like something I would want done to me or anyone close to me that I love so like why would I do it to someone you know what I mean so I come to grips with the fact that that's something that I need to really work on because just like anything else, whether they're sexual or they're athletic or, you know, they're short, skinny or whatever, I feel like that should not be one of the main drives why it drives other people to do Ex an excessive amount of things that they don't have to do to make a lot of things that don't need to happen like accidents you know what I mean like so mainly do you, accidents so do you feel like homosexual men are easier easier targets for you to rob them so that you can get drugs so that you can get the things that you need is that honestly um, is that basically it that in my situation, I would have to say, yeah, because I was basically hiding under their radar because of the fact that in my own world, we don't do that. We don't, you know what I'm saying, get high. We don't just, you know what I mean, get drunk and shit. Basically, it was just like mainly get high, you know what I mean? But as far as to the money part, the money part was just something that just sprung on me, you know what I mean, to where, out of the blue, where I was like, oh my God, this is a profession, where people can be out here like, you know what I mean, really just out here like, not taking into consideration that a person just, really just wants love or attention, or needs just help, you know what I mean, 
and it's just like that's where I learned that I was actually in that world and not even knowing that I got pulled into it. You know? Well I can I can tell by the way you talk and your conversation that you're educated. So why is it that you can't go get a job and try to figure things out that way versus to robbing yeah. homosexual men for your financial needs? Yeah, but once again, like that falls into the same same category, like as far as to the job part, it's like, oh, okay, I don't want to sit up there and be working and then as I'm working, it's like I'm Could you speak up for me? Basically, actually, I kind of lost myself on that one. But as far as to why I would not go to work, it's because it's not that I'm not going to work because I have to go to work. Everybody has to go to work. But so, is it hard for you to? straighten your life out so that you can make the right decisions and be able to take care of yourself financially so you won't have to resort to robbing homeless guys so you won't have to resort to robbing homosexual homeless men who are just trying to get by themselves right right back to the question yeah um, it's not hard for me to like get a job or whatever but it does seem like it's a little bit stressful as far as to meeting someone and being with someone and actually getting that love from them so much as what what they're actually seeking for they're seeking for that love and that attention or whatever etc cetera, etc cetera. but honestly I feel like it goes deeper than as far as to the job or whatever. I feel this from how you're being raised. I feel like it's, it's how you're being brought up. So it's like when you're being brought up, it's like you're supposed to have these necessary tools of knowing what's uh, right or what's wrong. or what You know what I mean? So it's like I take these tools and I feel like a lot of them were just what you call roadblocks into what is basically how you said the natural order of things and it's like I feel like if you go against the grain or you know what I'm saying basically when you go against the forces of what's going on on an everyday basis it's, it becomes a stressful thing on a person or, or the body. So it's just like you can only do so much as far as to everything like work, take care of your kids, take care of your child, look out for your wife, girlfriend, whatever, etc. So it's just like why put so much on naming uh, as far as to a, a homosexual or a fucking housewife or whatever because it got to the point to where I was really not caring who or what they were sister brother cousin and I real I had to step back and I realized I was stealing from my mother and I was stealing from my brother and I was stealing from my nephews and it was just basically spinning out of control and it's honestly I could say it's has a lot to do with the curricular activities that people do that is not necessary as far as drugs and alcohol. That shit is fucking crazy. And I can honestly say firsthand because I've done it. I wouldn't say like I have been as far over the edge as most, thank God, Allah, but 
people say, you know, you go, you, there is no comeback. And, like, I honestly can say, you feel me, that they ain't lying. It's true. Like, and that's because I didn't went as far as to taking from someone and from people to where, like, I don't even know who I am anymore. You know what I mean? I always get lost and forget who they are and what they doing shit for and doing anything for. So it's just like, yeah. Uh, Can you tell me a little bit about your childhood? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I that's mean, a what, short what story? Where did you grow up at? That's a long story. Where did you grow up at? That's a long ass story, but that's a short ass story. What, what state you grew up in? Ooh, I, I would honestly have to say, you feel me? I grew up in California. To be honest, I mean, I can't think of any other place. Even though did you did you I come did you come from a two parent home or? I came. Yes, yes. Okay. I, I, I remember both of my parents being around. For the most part, but when I did, I can honestly say I really didn't because it, it got to a point to where I seen you, but then I didn't. And then when I didn't, it was just like, I see you when I see you. So honestly, I, I grew up in a single parent home. It was just like, it wasn't like a two parent home. Like, yeah. you know what a two parent home is. Like, come on. Did you ever have a. They had a Christmas, I can remember maybe two, maybe two or three at the most, that was being honest. But you're talking about a lot of Christmases, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Did you ever see what real love looked like in your family? Have you ever seen what real love looked like? That's where, that's where I sat with it, like, I don't think I honestly can say that I have. And when I did, it got stripped away from me. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Meaning like, for instance, like, when my girl had passed away, like, I didn't realize that that's something that I can never, like, get back, never touch, never see. I mean, I thank God I had it, but it was just like, now I know that in this life, that's what it's all about. It's about having things and losing things, and getting things, trading things. It's, it's, it's a crazy world out here, but I still ain't really figured out its fucking formula, but honestly, I'm definitely trying to be aware of a lot of the levels and shit. So what's your drug of choice? Ooh, we honestly, I like bud. I love smoking. Something about smoking tree. But issue. but smoking weed doesn't make you rob homosexual men, right? Fuck nah. Okay, so what so what's that drug that makes you be around homosexual or let, let's start by say let's start by asking this. Are you a homosexual man? I don't know. That's why I'm at with it, like I know that what's right or I think I know what's wrong uh, like I'm saying I'm battling with myself right now but yeah honestly I don't even have a drug of choice it's just like I like to smoke so if I see some smoke and you can smoke it yeah. you gonna smoke it man let me see that it that shit and get wet but the question the question before you answered that was are you a homosexual man? No. I really can say, like, honestly, for myself, I don't, I don't feel homosexual. Which or how but in order like, to, in order to, how do you rob a homosexual man? Right. Uh, do I, I? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly. Um, I haven't had a lot. Do you guys do role play? Is it like, how do you rob? How do you go about robbing a homosexual honestly, man? Honestly, I can honestly say I'm 
I'm having a hard time trying to explain it because this is actually my first run on it. But like, I was trying to figure it out myself too. And it was like, we didn't get to the role play. Like all the things that I was thinking, like when you're with, uh, when you're like, when you know that you're uh, a straight guy, you know what I mean? Like when you know that you, you know what I mean? You digging on women, all kind of women, shape, size, I don't care, whatever, ugly or whatever, but it's like, I never figured out, you feel me, why I never really grasped on it, so it was just like, I never could get it either, like, an answer of, like, how do you get in and potentially rob, or, you know what I'm saying, kill, or, you know what I mean, how do you, you know what I'm saying, steal, like, how do you do that to that particular, you know what I'm saying, individual, but, when I was trying to figure it out, it was like I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't get any role play, you know. I couldn't get any no no body language or anything. It was more aggressive to where you showed aggression, and then that's when you no no. It was, it was basically what I'm trying to say. It was aggression that was showed that was brought up to where. That's when I realized the severity of the situation because at the end of the day, I realized who I was and what role I play, you know what I'm saying, in this situation. Hold up. I'm not. How, how you say in other words, you feel me? Feminine. I'm not that, you know what I'm saying, that, that girly type. I'm, that's not me. Like, I may sit back and take in whatever it is that you're throwing out, but honestly, you feel me, if you push me to that point, I will show the 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 manly, the the you know what I'm saying, the the guy that stands in front of the woman and and before God and it's a level to this shit. You know what I'm saying? I that beast automatically comes out and I see when I see that in me, I know a lot of folks out there that's looking on the outside sees that in me too. So it's like, it questions them too. Like, what are you doing? Why are you doing what you're doing? But do you feel like you're compromising your manhood by yes. certain acts that you're doing? Good question. Yes. And that's another thing. I try to find someone or a... Uh, uh, a way where I can have someone relate to the situation where I can get answers and no one has any answers for me, you know, like, I be like having to struggle with these dilemmas, you know what I'm saying, that I run into and it's like, how you say it, I'm learning as I go, you know what I mean, and it's like, I'm not going to play the fool so long, you know what I mean. Like in a minute, you know, I'm just going to just like, you is, know. Is this life that you live depressing? Oh, man. Honestly, if I sit back and really just think about it, a lot of other folks would be grateful to be halfway, you know what I'm saying, in my shoes. You know what I mean? And I honestly can say that I've, I can really believe that. And I'm, I need to take that into consideration and take advantage because I learned a lot along the way. I learned a lot, you know, even though I could feel like I could learn a lot more and I'm eager to learn a lot more, but at the same time, it's like I need to realize that there's levels to it and, and you know, I got I can't be like a little baby, you know what I mean? It's coming around just wanting, wanting, you know what I mean? And I realize I see that in me, and I, I need to slow that down in me, like, because as far as to me meeting this one um, guy, you know, like, I didn't realize who he was or what, you know what I'm saying, his sexual preference was, but when I realized it, what it was, I realized how out of control that particular situation was, you feel me, because of 
the sexual drive he had, and I didn't know that in itself is a sickness, can be a, a sickness, you know what I mean, as far as to anything else, like, you know what I'm saying, taking in too much, much substance of any kind, that's like, you know what I mean, water, food, you know what I mean, drugs, you know what I mean, so it's just like, so how do you how do you live on a day to day basis with knowing that you're degrading yourself as a man yeah. by doing homosexual acts for financial gain? Ooh. A lot. I think it does a lot more than How does that affect you? Ooh. It affects me so much to where I can't even focus gradually on an everyday basis because of the fact that morally I, I feel like I didn't gain anything you know what I mean and with me not gaining anything I'm losing everything I'm forgetting everything you know what I'm saying acting off of anything you know and it brings it back to the drug part you know what I mean it's like ooh that shit is crazy. So it's like, honestly, I've been around it, you feel me? I've been touched around it, you know what I mean? Hope, hopefully not as long as as most or as much as I need to, to where I can't get out because I see what it is and that shit is crazy. It's like, I don't even know what it do. You know what I mean? And, but it's like, I've done it to the point to where I can see like, oh, it can be done, but who really wants to do it? Like, you know what I mean? That shit has you really doing and going exactly the way people say it is. And the way people, you know what I'm saying, show it do like, like, and they talk about it and shit like, that shit be crazy and it's like to the point to where it's like in so many words and you can't even explain it. You know what I mean? But it's like, Honestly, just like this video, it's, it's, it's one of the stepping stones to get me back to focusing on what really matters to myself. Because it's like, I use that per, per se as the gim, the gimmick, the get up, you feel me, my fucking go-to, you feel me, for the reason why I get up or do this or want to clean up like a fucking... How you say it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a fucking clean freak or some shit. But like, nah, it's like, nah, bitch, I don't need to hit this line, you feel me? To, you know what I mean? To get it in with you, like, yeah. excessively why, you know what I mean? But it's just as far as to part of the fucking gimmick of life, you know what I'm saying? Where the job and the girlfriend or whatever, the neighbors and just school, all that shit fits in its own self. And it's like when you add alcohol, tobacco, any type of drug or whatever, it's going to throw you off. And it's going to like make you question, you know what I'm saying, how you say it, your, your, yourself and make you present yourself, your real self. So it's like, I don't know what made me like target particularly that particular group of people but I think it was like when I realized I didn't care who or what type of person because I realized I, I was stealing from family members and even though I was doing it you know what I mean and it was just like I have some fucking uh, homos and some fucking lesbians and some fucking gays in my family so it's like I could recall me doing it to them too and not really thinking off, you know what I mean? Yeah. Am I doing it because, ugh, I just really don't, I'm a straight guy, you know what I'm saying? I'm using my, my sexual preference, you know what I'm saying? As of like, oh, okay, because I'm mad or hurt oh, or so, struggling with some shit. So what you're saying is, is that you use the fact that you're a heterosexual male as power. You see where I'm going with it? Be, oh, okay, so homosexual men are attracted to you because you're a heterosexual male. 
Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that could be. Is that is that is that? I'm saying that could be. Is that a gateway to, to you to you actually, conning them or robbing them out of their money? Honestly, yes. When 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 I sit back and I look at it, that's exactly what it is. Cause I'm like, what am I doing with my time and et cetera et cetera. And when I'm playing in these acts. And I play it back, this is exactly what I'm doing. And I'm like, what have I become? What, when did this happen? Like, who do I talk to? Is this a problem? Is this anything? Is this nothing? Is it something? Is this it? Anything. I know that it's dangerous, you know? Yeah, it is. Honestly, I know that there's a lot of other folks that have stories that and I like think, And I think, I think generally it's, it's actually... <clears throat> it's a pretty crappy thing to do to... Anything. To rob somebody or to to trick somebody and make them feel like you like them or to, to make them feel like you're interested in them only to rob them. Right. But the world that we live in, that we live in today, everything is pay me now. Everything is give me, give me. Everything is I want this, I right. want that, I need this. Right. Which Everybody's so self-driven leaves a lot of playroom for folks to yeah yeah you know what I mean but with that being said a lot of folks when you're doing all that they're not as slow or or or, or stupid or dumb they know you know what I'm saying yeah part by far it's like it's like they're being tested with their fucking being in themselves and their faith in whatever etc cetera, etc cetera, while they're watching a lot of these stories and days and these things being played out because I'm like I didn't see myself in the same situation as far as to using oh my time or using my my sexual preference to be like oh okay I promise we'll do this or we do that or give me some time I'm thinking about it or whatever whatever to get mainly some drugs or some money honestly um, it's easier to do that class of people like that because it's like a it's basically like a, a guarantee Thing, like a guaranteed 